Welcome to this audio slice presentation. My name is Anna Cagliazzo from KU Leuven in Belgium. I will briefly present our recent paper titled The Generalized Corcos Model for Modeling Turbulent Boundary Layer Wall Pressure Fluctuations, published on the Journal of Sound and Vibration in March 2016. Over the past years, the aerodynamic noise generated by a turbulent boundary layer has received a considerable amount of attention, in particular in the context of noise and vibration assessment of vehicles. Many semi-empirical models of TBL based on fits to experimental data have been developed since the 50s. Among others, the Corcos model has received large attention due to its advantageous mathematical features and its accurate description of the wave number frequency spectrum of the wall pressure in the convective domain. However, a major drawback is the small rate of decay for wave numbers below the coincidence frequency, where it tends to overpredict the spectrum of about 20 dB. On the contrary, models such as Chase or Molek of Tashenko are more accurate in their range, but they lack simplicity in the mathematical description. In this perspective, our research focuses on the need for a more accurate low wave number spectrum still preserving the mathematical advantages of the known Corcos model. The paper presents a novel generalized Corcos model built on a two-dimensional Butterworth filter, whose order allowed to modify the shape of the TBL. In our work, the analytical development of the generalized model is presented and its advantages are pointed out. The effect of choosing different model of TBL on the sun power radiated by a simply supported rectangular plate is analyzed, and finally the influence of the different orders of the filter on the radiating sun power is investigated. The research presented in this paper starts with the observation that the Corcos model involves two Lorentzian functions to describe the pressure loading, one in the string-wise direction kx and the other one in the spine-wise direction kz. In fact, when it comes to the integration over an infinite domain, the Lorentzian function allows mathematical simplifications that keep the Corcos model fully analytical in certain cases. Note that a generalization of the Lorentzian curve is the square magnitude of a Butterworth filter of order 1. Its square magnitude is a real valued function defined here for a filter of order n. Then, the second key point of the proposed model is the use of a Butterworth filter instead of the Lorentzian to describe the pressure loading. This allows preserving the analyticity of the integration. Therefore, as the Lorentzian curve is a particular case of a Butterworth filter, the paper shows how the Corcos model can be regarded as a subcase of a generalized Corcos model. In this way, by changing the order of the filter n along the stringwise direction and m along the spanwise one, it's possible to control the decay of the TBL model and make it steeper if necessary. As it's seen in the picture on the right hand side, which shows how for filter of order equal to 1, the generalized Corcos spectrum is coincident with that of Corcos, and increasing the order n, the curve shows the same behavior seen in the picture on the left hand side, where the Butterworth filter which center k omega and cut off value alpha omega is shown for different n. The wave number frequency spectra of the different models with respect to the dimensionless longitudinal wave number are here shown. The generalized Corcos spectrum for m equal to 1 and n equal to 2 is given by the red solid curve. By choosing these orders, it's possible to reach at low wave numbers about 20 dB less than Corcos, given by the black dashed curve. That means an improved accuracy at low wave number and a steeper curve which brings the spectral level closer to the Chase and Smolek of Toshenko 1. The application case is here given by a simply supported rectangular plate inserted in a flat infinite rigid buffle and driven on one side by a stationary TBL with zero mean pressure gradient. The power radiated by the plate is dominated by the resonant modes and its levels are directly related to the low wave number levels of the different models. Therefore, by using the generalized Corcos model, it's possible either reach the excitation level given by Corcos or lower getting close to Chase's Molek of Tachenko. At the same time, having a separable model, the computational effort is definitely reduced. By properly choosing the order of the filters, it's possible to reduce the Corcos spectrum in the entire wave number range outside the convective ridge, as shown in the left plot. This behavior is reflected on the sun power radiated by the plate, shown in the right plot. To conclude, a new TBL model is being proposed which preserves the main advantages of the Corcos model and allows controlling the decay in the lower number domain. Thank you for your attention.